Now that we've got all four corners matched up, now we're gonna come over and change from our basic alignment to our crosshatch. Now we have a crosshatch on all four corners. Come back to my secondary scanner, we could take a look here. And the idea is you can see that we've got a lot of, uh, well on the camera it looks like there's a lot of flicker, but um, and actually that's not too bad. Um, but we'll, we start with the one by one um, pattern and that will give us a chance to fine tune our corners. So I'll start with the lower left. Um, and lower left, I'm going to just walk in with my mouse, or with my, uh, my arrow keys on my keyboard. And you want to eyeball this, uh, really focus on the area that you're working on, because when this comes together, you'll see it almost click with your eyes. You'll see a lot of flicker, and then all of a sudden the flickering will stop. So you can kind of see, uh, it's even visible on the camera, the lower left corner looks fairly solid. Um, we'll do the same thing now, lower right corner and a little bit of a flicker, I'm going to walk it in. So now with all four corners really dialed in with the crosshatch pattern, I'm gonna come back to my three by three pattern. And this gives me a chance to really adjust several new areas that weren't in the pattern before. Uh, center, top, um, top center, left center, right center, and lower center. This will give us a cross pattern that we can kind of adjust. So uh, let's do this in the cooking show format and I'm going to adjust those real quick. And now cooking show format wise, I have my top left, right, and uh, bottom uh, adjusted. Now it's, again, it's kind of hard to tell because the refresh rate on the camera. The trick is really to let your eyes relax. Uh, when you're looking at the lines, with um, uh, what you'll see is you'll see a lot of flicker and a lot of jumping. When you relax your eyes and you actually get both of uh, both areas aligned correctly, it will literally just kind of pop and click into place. Um, so yeah, there's no real, real way. Sorry, I'm using a cell phone camera. There we go. That's kind of better, so we don't have as much flicker. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and switch this over. We're going to take a look at the. Uh, five by five pattern, which is going to give us several new areas.